My name is Stan Jacob. I believe we all should nurture a bit of empathy because people of all types of life can be touched by this because on the basis of a small mistake. I am one of those people. I finish college, I finish university, but a small mistake in my past makes people change their perception of me. The criminalization of drug use and people who use drugs is not an effective strategy to deter use of drugs, nor does it offer any public health benefits related to substance use. If the threat of incarceration was a suitable deterrent for substance use, then the rate in which states send people to prison for drug-related charges would be correlated in a reduction in drug-related harms. This study found no reduction in drug use, arrest, or overdose deaths in the states with higher rates of incarceration. The threat of incarceration is not an effective prevention strategy. 70% of people incarcerated in Ireland have a history of substance use. We can't arrest our way out of this problem. Not only is incarceration an ineffective prevention method, but it also worsens health outcomes for people with substance use disorders. A criminal record related to a drug offense will impact a person's ability to find employment, maintain family regulations and dynamics, and navigate health systems. We must ask ourselves, who is most likely to be impacted by criminalization and how can it be used as a tool to further marginalize certain groups. Ishka's recommendation is that the Citizens' Assembly consider decriminalization of drugs and therefore the decriminalization of people who use drugs.